you don't have diversity of opinion or um, an input at the board level, you're not going to end up um, in the same place. Because it's a terrible thing for a board, right? I mean, if you think about just a risk for a business, if you have everybody who thinks the same or, every, you know, if everyone's agreeing, you clearly have the wrong board. Because just to build on what Kim was saying, I mean, it's, it's an oversight role. So you're really there to kind of ask the right questions around the executives to make sure the business is making the right decisions and heading in the right direction. We talk about women on boards, but I think what we really should back up and think about is is diversity of thought as well um, and 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 women obviously and people of color everyone has a different experience and can bring that um, perspective to the boardroom and employees want to make sure that they and, and attracting talent they want to make sure that they can bring um, their best thoughts and that it's it's absolutely supported so I think talent and retention of talent is huge benefit that I wish we were talking about more is something about um, board readiness in your own head about why are you joining a board that I think a lot of people really need to just be thoughtful about uh, especially if you are um, in an operating role you've got a lot of stuff going on you got little kids at home like you got to be really clear that taking on this responsibility is going to be accretive to the goals that you've set for yourself being part of a board is essentially changing the culture and that will replicate down into the business.